afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for midday trading, the 4th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit to Trade Signal, Signal's market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where the uh, stats uh, lie. Uh, in the European session at present, you know, the FTSE now turning negative as uh, Theresa May gives a speech again. Certainly, she is a, uh, a dead woman walking uh, from that perspective. She certainly has a, just a matter of time before she uh, she certainly gets taken over by somebody else. And it certainly seems like Mr. Boris is, uh, is next in line and really he is an absolute dimwit. So, if anything, it certainly doesn't bode well for Brexit, nor does it bode well for the future of the uh, country. So, certainly isn't looking good. In terms of the uh, German DAX, we have the DAX up just about seven points, although uh, it was up much higher. It actually gapped to new highs before it gave back and closed the gap. The French CAC at the moment is down 17 points. The FTSE MIB down quite a whopping 1.4%. The IMEX is down almost 2.5% after the uh, King of Spain certainly uh, interjected. And it certainly doesn't seem like it's going well at present. Okay, in terms of economic data, let's just quickly go give you a rundown in terms of economic data today. Uh, overnight, we had the Australian markets down. We had the uh, Nikkei more or less flat. The Hang Seng as well. Let's just quickly bring up the stats for the Asian markets. You had the Nikkei up uh, 0.06% so more or less flat. Hang Seng still up 0.7%, certainly benefiting from the uh, liquidity uh, uh, tap being open there as well. Uh, in terms of, obviously, the stronger Chinese data as well on Sunday or over the weekend. In terms of uh, European uh, data this morning, we've had the uh, Spanish PMI certainly coming in stronger than expected. Italian PMI is weaker than expected. French PMI is weaker than expected as well. German composite PMI weaker services are uh, more or less in line. And the European PMI is more or less in line as well, slightly better. Uh, although retail sales out of the Eurozone certainly dismal. Uh, certainly uh, expected was 0.3, came in minus 0.5%. That certainly isn't a good picture going forward. Okay, your US mortgage approvals just come out and they've actually gone negative. We're waiting for ADP numbers now in the next 38 minutes. And again, that'll be a market mover. Then we have market PMI ISM. And then obviously Mr. Draghi speaking around quarter past six again. That will be quite a significant market mover as well. Uh, in terms of the Nasdaq, also we have Bullard and Yellen as well. So again, watch out 8 p.m. Certainly expect a lot of volatility on the uh, currency exchange. Okay, in terms of uh, the Nasdaq at the moment, Nasdaq certainly under pressure uh, given the fact that the European Union certainly is exerting their pressure in regards to a potential tax bill. EU to sue Ireland for failing to collect $13 billion from Apple. Uh, Ireland says fully committed to ensuring the recovery of the alleged Apple state aid takes place etc etc no what new monetary policy one must take foot off gas pedal slowly rather than hit the brakes uh, again like i said we have concerns with regards to catalonia to declare independence from spain as soon as the weekend so again that certainly is going to uh, cause a lot of friction and ripples in in europe and again that's a credit uh, certainly is a uh, risk negative okay uh, and again brexit concerns remain uh, the uh, the two sides certainly remain far apart uh, and again miss uh, may certainly is fighting for her life with regards to her speech in, in manchester now Again, it just depends how that speech plays out. US, uh, you say UK data certainly came out as well. Uh, it certainly seems like whenever economic data comes out stronger than expected, the FTSE sells off and it comes out weaker than expected. It rallies on the expectation that you are going to get a potential uh, pause in rate hikes. At the moment, the uh, market PMI services came in at 53.6. So again, uh, hence the reason why the FTSE is under pressure, given the fact that expectations of a rate hike certainly are being uh, taken or uh, discounted in. Okay, so hawkish BOE. Uh, in terms of the uh, BOE, let's just quickly look at currencies while we stand here. Again, you, you have Yellen and Draghi speaking, so let's just see where the currencies stand. Uh, Euro at the moment, the daily chart certainly remains in uh, holding support, so you're looking for a potential bounce from Draghi. may not be as, as dovish as everybody expects. In terms of the GBP USD as well, so as you can see, stronger data certainly has helped the sterling. Sterling moving high obviously has caused the FTSE certainly to come under or exert pressure, so keep an eye on there. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX. As you can see here, we gapped higher. Uh, we put in a topping tail and reversed quite sharply, so that double top certainly held. We did actually break to new highs at 12.976, but it was rejected very quickly. We've had a monster rally from 11.800 all the way up to 13,000. Okay, we failed to hit that key psychological level. I was expecting some short covering up there, uh, certainly trigger a, a short covering as well. But again, We've pushed lower on the back of uh, the Catalonian uh, situation. And again, we've closed the gap at present. We're into gap fill support. We do have an unfilled gap below at 12.830. All eyes on that gap for now at 12.830 on the uh, German DAX. Okay. In terms of the uh, 
The French CAC, let's bring that up for you. You can see here the, the market certainly is stalling. Uh, daily chart on the French CAC at the moment. You can see we key a key resistance of up here at 5374. Ever since we've hit that, there is an unfilled gap on the French CAC at 5405. Uh, market may well want to uh, potentially re test that as well. And there is another gap up here at 5440. So just keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, the French CAC certainly has remained immune to weakness uh, as of late. Uh, we do have multiple gaps below, but the market certainly has been immune to that and oblivious to it as well. 60 minute chart, like I said, we've certainly closed the gap and we are now pushing lower. Okay, uh, let's see how the uh, the market fares with regards to the uh, French CAC. Oh, we've closed the gap and I've, I've pushed even lower as well. So again, Catalonia certainly weighing as well. Mr. Tragi later on today, will he be as dovish as everybody expects? That certainly is a, a wild card and let's see how the market reacts there. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the FTSE at the moment. Still certainly uh, exercising weakness, certainly showing weakness at the moment as well uh, with regards to the FTSE at present, certainly you know, testing that low. Uh, although you are building some type of base here at uh, the 7480 zone, okay? Okay, so moving on to the FTSE 100 here then. So looking at the daily chart, the FTSE 100 at the moment, certainly overextended, uh, given the fact that we have Brexit concerns, obviously Theresa May for clinging on to uh, power, certainly fighting for a potential political life. Going forward again, that certainly is risk off. Okay, in terms of economic data as well, UK data certainly coming stronger. Uh, again, that certainly indicates that the uh, <coughs> BOE will be inclined and has the ammunition to raise rates and therefore is risk negative. Also, given the fact that oil prices certainly have been weaker as of late as well, Asian markets certainly are subdued, certainly not pushing to new highs as was previously, uh, ex well, certainly uh, how we've, we've witnessed. In terms of the uh, daily chart, certainly overextended. 60-minute chart at the moment. Bearish engulfing candle, uh, the bear certainly uh, certainly taking control here. Uh, we can certainly look at this potential uh, bullish channel again being tested. Okay, so again, watch out for that uh, key tra diagonal trend line broken. Ten minute chart at the moment. Again, we are mate, holding the key uh, support at uh, seven four fifty. Uh, again, I just sort of close my shorts now, uh, given the fact that we've hold that held that potential key support seven four fifty. If if we retest seven four sixty six again, uh, I'll certainly be uh, I'll certainly take the opportunity there to short the uh, the FTSE one hundred again, or even seventy four seventy five uh, uh, two. Okay, so again, looking for weakness here with a lower high on the FTSE one hundred ten minute chart. There are multiple unfilled gaps. I mean, you've got the unfilled gap at seventy three seventy, then you've got the unfilled gap, unfilled gap at seventy three twenty. Now those two gaps both are in play from my my perspective. <clears throat> okay, so uh, that's the uh, FTSE 100 for you. In terms of Euro stocks, let's just quickly go over the Euro stocks. Okay, daily chart at the moment, you can see bearish engulfing candles, certainly overextended from my perspective. Uh, we've certainly started to reverse now. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment. Uh, again, you've held that potential to the top and then rejected. Okay, so any potential retracement now certainly will be a sh shorting opportunity again on the euro stocks from my perspective so watch out below on the euro stocks 10 minute chart as well uh, certainly has sold off quite significantly at the moment from the pivot high at 3608 down to uh, 3584 okay uh, again you potentially have support down here at 3577 and 3575 any retracement now from my perspective on the euro stocks certainly is a shorting opportunity anywhere or back up to that 3600 zone more than happy to open up a potential short opportunity with the stop loss above the previous high. Okay, right. Okay, that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.